Squad Cosmetics just released their newest launch. This is their Serum Blush Active Glow Tints. They have 11 shades for this launch divided into three categories. So we have pang contour, pang pigments or the blushes and we have pang highlights. So without any further ado, the first shade that I'm going to be swatching for you is the shade Namoose. As usual, I'm going to be rating the shades from 1 to 5. 1 being the lowest score and 5 being the highest. And for the shade Mousse, nako guys, as soon as it landed on my lips, yung shade na to, sabi ko talaga, wow! This shade is so me and I'm so happy na ito yung first shade na naswatch ko kasi for some reason, it just set my mood, na parang happy mood to swatch the rest of the shades. Kasi guys, 11 shades yung isa swatch ko. If you like my lippy preferences, for sure na magugustuhan nyo tong shade na mousse. By the way, yung shade na mousse, I can categorize nila as a contour shade. Pero for me, hindi talaga siya contour product. It's more of like a blush product for me. Siguro sa mga mestizas, very very light mestizas, this will work as a contour. But for me and for deep morenas, this is just a blush for me. But for the lips, it's uf, ang ganda talaga. As in, magandang nude lip ito para sa inyo. Yeah, I highly recommend this. A 5, of course. Such a 5. Or beyond 5. Maganda yung shade na to as in. I'm wearing the shade Mousse right now, but I want to note also na nag-lip line din ako using Focalure's Long Lasting Eyeliner. Yes, eyeliner to guys. Ginawa ko siyang lip liner. Wala lang kasi I just want my lips to look plumper. But this is their Long Lasting Eyeliner. Ililingkod din to sa baba. And this is in the shade Brown or 05. Basta ililink ko lang to, yung eyeliner na to sa baba. And I'm also wearing it right now on my eyes. I really, really love this product. So this, both of them, is such a good combination. So if you want to try out this kind of lippy shade on you, then check out the description. So the next shade is Toffee. Now yung Toffee naman feels like a deeper shade ng mousse. Maganda din yung toffee, but I'm more of a mousse girl. So if I have to rate this, I'm gonna give it a 4. Although it is, it is a good shade, but mas mag nagagandahan lang talaga ako sa mousse. I mean, it just hits the sweet spot in my heart. Like, ah, na-captivate niya talaga ako. This also belongs sa contour category. But I wouldn't really consider this as a contour product because it's a little bit too warm for me. I don't even consider this shade as a bronzy product. More like blush product pa rin. Alright, next shade naman is the shade Truffle. Now, compared to the first two shades, na Mousse and Toffee, yung Truffle naman is more of a cool tone na contour shade. And ito talaga, masasabi ko na maganda siya pang contour for both mestizas and morenas. Maganda siya pang contour because it has that cool tone to it that can really mimic shadow sa face natin. And it's not a bronzy product but contour talaga siya because may pang cool tone yung shade na to. On the lips, uh, because it is more of a cool tone product, it will look a little bit ashy on you. It will give off this grungy 90s girl vibes na angsty. Actually, it really does remind me of the shade B Day from the nudist collection ng Fluff Matte. As a contour bet ko siya, but as a lippy, hindi ko siya masyadong feel. So, I'm gonna give this a 2.5? 2.5 to 3. Parang ganun lang yung rating niya sa akin. Ganun lang yung rating niya para sa akin because this is not something that I would grab for talaga. Next is the shade Hazelnut. Now, Hazelnut is a deeper shade of truffle. So, if you feel like, if deep morena ka and you feel like truffle is a little bit too light for you, can't really shape your face, then I recommend you go for the shade Hazelnut because Ako personally, if papibili na ko, mas pipiliyan ko talaga yung hazelnut over truffle as a contour shade. Again, just like truffle, parang ano din siya, uh, 
cool tone then na shade. Yung shade niya can really mimic a shadow that can carve your face out. So this shade again is a good contour product although because it is cool tone as well, medyo hindi ko siya bet as a full on lippy. So for this shade, I'm going to give it a 2 as well. If meron kayo na pupusuan ng mga shades, make sure to screenshot this video and meron din mga guides sa baba in the description box below through timestamps and also if you want to check out the products, merong link katabi ng shade na yon para ma-check out niyo yung product. By the way guys, some of the links in the description box below are affiliate links which means your girl might be earning a small commission through those links. And that commission will really help sustain and grow this channel. So if you want to support your girl, then you can purchase the products through those links. All right, now for the second category, we have the pigments or the blushes. So we have three shades for the pigments category. For the shade Sorbet, this is like a deep spicy coral shade. And to be honest, Gusto ko yung shade na to. Although, this is not something that I would instantly think of for an everyday lippy. May imagine ko siya for a certain glam, certain look, but if papipili na talaga ako, more of a nude girl talaga ako. Although, although, if I have to choose between truffle, hazelnut, and sorbet, I'm gonna go for sorbet because although nude yung truffle and hazelnut, Parang nagiging ashy yung lips ko. And I don't know, parang off lang talaga siya for me. So I'd rather go for this. And the blush shade is really nice. It really opens up the face because of its vibrant color. And I really recommend mga vibrant, fresh looking blushes sa mga tao na pagod because it opens up the face and it really uh, refreshes your face. It gives that fresh look. Because gusto ko siya as a blush and somehow gusto ko din siya as a lippy, I'm gonna give the shade a 3. The next blush shade that we have is Lava Cake. Now, yung Lava Cake, I would say, is like a warm, pinkish nude kind of shade. And okay lang siya for me. Maganda siyang blush. I really like it as a blush shade. Uh, as a lippy, okay lang siya. It doesn't really appeal to me, although it is the kind of pink na hindi siya nagka clash sa Filipino skin. And although it is a chill kind of pink, it's also not an outstanding kind of thing. Okay lang siya. It's like ordinary. It's just okay lang. So I'm just gonna give this a... I'm gonna give this a 3 for now. Yeah. Next ay yung shade na Red Velvet. Now yung Red Velvet, akala ko is a red lippy. But apparently it's not. It's so far from Red Velvet. So this shade is actually... Uh, mauvish pink na kind of shade. Magugustuhan to for sure ng mga deep morena girls. Not really here for mauvish pink shades. Pili lang talaga. So I'm gonna give this a ano ba? 3 or 2? For now, 2. Because meron din naman ako napupusuan na mauvish pink shades. But in this formula and in this finish, parang not really here for it. So, I'm gonna give this a 2. For the last category, we have their highlighters. So, they have four shades for their highlighters. So, meron glazed, parfait, maple, and pavlova. But for this video, I'm just gonna... Sasabayin ko na yung review ko for them. Because when I was watching them, I realized ko na parang wala masyadong difference yung shades. By the way, when I first saw this, it reminded me of the color tints na highlighter. But compared to color tints, highlighter, and these highlighters ng Squad Cosmetics, ito mas glowy siya, mas natural looking, mas subtle yung highlight niya. Yung highlighter niya ay hindi siya yung powdery, sugary type na highlighter. Now, once it sets, nakikita yung glowing shimmer pigments. Ito wala. It's more of just a glow. And that's what I really like about these products. Ayun lang, wala masyadong difference yung shades as soon as you blend it out. I was actually a bit worried to apply this highlighter on my skin because I don't like that frosty looking highlighter on my skin because it's just it's just not suited for an everyday look. Now I'm going to be sharing my top 3 shades, one per category. So, first category, contour no need for drum roll. Alam nyo na guys na I have to go for mousse. It's so, so good. 
it's so so good and it's only for 199 pesos and then for the second category which i pigments category i have to go for the shade sorbet even though mas wearable for everyday lippy yung lava cake and red velvet mas pipiliin ko si sorbet mas may attitude siya kasi yung lava cake siya si red velvet parang basic lang Although I know sometimes I can be a basic girl, mas gusto ko to. May mas angas si ano sorbet. For the final category, yung highlighters, I will have to go for the shade Parfait because I think this is such a good amplifier and a good addition to your liquid blushes. So it's really nice. Kaya naman, highly, highly recommend these three. Again, Maple, Sorbet, and Parfait. By the way, guys, I just want to mention the applicator. Baka magulat kayo. Yung applicator pala nila, guys, is a plastic paddle brush kind of applicator. So it's not your typical applicator that you would find the doe foot applicator, even a brush type applicator. Baka magulat kayo guys ha, na bakit ang tigas ng applicator? I don't know why they chose this kind of applicator. Squad Cosmetics, if nanonood kayo, please comment down below, explain to me why you chose this kind of applicator. It would have been nice if they just went for a regular schmegular doe foot applicator. Siguro if pang blush product lang to, I would accept it, something that pang mix lang siya sa base product, but if it can be applied on the lips as well, parang weird, ang weird ng feeling on the lips. If gusto nyo pang tumambay dito sa channel ko, meron ako mga playlist na naka-ready para sa inyo, so if you want more lip swatches, playlist will be right here. Bubulunan talaga ako today. And if you want to see my Shopee hauls, okay, for my medium to pushing large girls out there, I have boodles for you. You can click this playlist right here. If you have any video recommendations, just comment them down in the comment section below. Just remember, no hate, just love.